One of the downsides to getting a Microsoft Surface product in Singapore is there is no service center. So when it comes to warranty service, you actually have to mail your product in. And if you have data on your computer, I'm not sure how you can get it out. So before you use any service product, or basically any computer from any brand do have some sort of backup plan. So I'm making this video to document the process, the servicing warranty service process, because I need to send my Surface Pro 6 in for warranty service. I was charging my Surface Pro 6 when there was a spark. And now when I try to power it on, it just shows the logo and goes blank. I tried to do the 10 second hold to get into safe boot, but it's not working. And when I tried to put the charger into the port again, there's no light with the charger. So I have already filed um, a warranty service for this product. Once you create a repair order, they will show you the repair status. So here it says standard exchange. So it looks like I will definitely not be getting the same Surface Pro back. And they will have a shipping company or a courier call you to arrange for the pickup at your location. In my case here, they have SIM post to collect and the postman is going to come later on. The standard warranty period for the Surface Pro in Singapore is one year. And I just discovered they have this plan called Microsoft Complete which can extend the warranty for an additional year. This covers accidental damage as well. And this will cost 229 Singapore dollars. So now I have to pack that into this box here. I'm also going to send a charger in because I'm not sure if there's any problem with this. Well, there are sparks from the charging port, so it's best to send this in as well. Today is the 24th of September 2019. We'll see how fast it will take them to receive this, test it, and send it back a new one. I've just handed the box over to the delivery guy, so now we wait. It's now three days later and I got my Surface Pro back, so I mailed it on Tuesday and it's Friday today. So maybe it's not a downside, maybe it's more convenient to have servicing done this way because I don't have to waste my time to go down to the service center to send the product in and go down to the service center again to collect it back. This is not the retail box, obviously. So the tablet, it's shrink wrapped to this cardboard. Let me just take this out. It looks like it's brand new. I also sent my charger in because I didn't know if it was faulty that caused the device to fail, but I did not file any repair order for that, so they didn't do repair for the charger and they didn't do any exchange, so I got back my old charger. All right, let's see if this new one, if it works. And I'm going to use my charger, the old charger. I don't have any important documents or files on this computer, thankfully, but after this incident, I think I may want to just invest a few dollars per month to have the backup service with OneDrive. While waiting for it to set up, let me just connect the charger to the port and hope that it's not the charger that is faulty. All right, it's not. So this is the desktop and it looks like all my files are not here because this is a new tablet. I've just installed Opera. Let's take a look at the pricing for OneDrive. So for one terabyte with the Office apps, it's 108 Singapore dollars per year, which works out to be around $9 each month. That's with the discount if you buy the yearly plan, which is actually not bad. This is Google One. They are storage plan. I'm currently using the 100 gigabyte plan, which is $28 per year. For the 200 gigs, it's around four Singapore dollars per month. So $4 per month versus $9 per month. We get one terabyte here and 200 gigs for 
the Google Drive. So maybe it's worth the money to get OneDrive. So this is a new tablet with a new serial number. The warranty period still remains the same bill from the date of purchase. Now there is repair warranty for this and it's three months, but um, in my case, it's going to end before my one year warranty. So my overall experience with this warranty service, well, it's positive. So maybe it's not a downside, maybe it's more convenient this way because the turnaround time is actually faster than I expected. I recently had to service my Apple MacBook. I had to bring the laptop down to the service center and wait for it to repair and a few days later go down to the service center again to collect. So maybe this is actually more convenient to have Microsoft send someone to pick this up and after the repair is done, have someone send it back to you to your doorstep. So yeah. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. See you in the next video. Bye.